Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me here on Lele Matamsa TV. Uh, if you're new on this page, remember to like, share my videos as I share videos and content every day, more than four contents or so. In this video, I would like to talk to you guys about the trending issue with regards to the icon uh, Zambia, which is a show that I have been privileged to uh, promote. And I know there's something that is trending about one of the judges, David Kazadi. And before I make any commentary, guys, please listen to this audition and I'll make my commentary. Listen to this. But it's not okay for you to tell me that I cannot sing in this flight or the next. I know I can write songs. The younger brother is a better rapper than you are. You have to accept it and support him and not come and tell us that you're writing his songs. Because if you're writing his songs, then you Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Fine, thank you, how are you? Fine. What's your name? My name is Crispin Simkanga. Crispin? Yes. How old are you, Crispin? I'm 22 years old. Are you singing or rapping for us today? Rapping. Go Can I see your number? Go ahead. So I'll be performing uh, a tribute uh, original verse, if that's okay, to someone that's, who was very dear to my heart who passed away four years ago. Okay. Is that okay? No problem. Thank you, Auntie Jackie, for believing in me. Just a young, damn kid, but that's not what you saw. You saw more. Always believed I'll be one day restored. Even when the future is cold, I ain't got nobody to hold. I find comfort in your memories and letting them warm. Me, I know what love is, because you put it on me, told it to me. Thank you. When I was naughty, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's something I said. Pedestrian, average, good, very good, and excellent. You yourself, where do you think you are? Pedestrian, average, good, very good, or excellent? Yourself. What you did is what? Where? Pedestrian, average, good, very good, and excellent. Zipime, when they part, when we know what we know, we rap, you know what it. The one that's dedicated to your, see your aunt, Jackie. Auntie Jackie. Yeah. May I so rest in peace. You was Zipime, like na five, what you part up? I think good, sir. You good? Number three. Was he got a good deal? Okay. I now revert to my fellow colleagues. Um. Crispin. Yes, sir. Here's, here's how you messed it up for us, because now we can't even be honest without feeling bad. Um, Auntie Jackie would have been proud of your efforts, but even I believe she knows that you're not good enough as a rapper. And I say this with no prejudice and as much respect as I can. Crispin, you're 22 years old. Do not waste your time. Rap is not your thing, okay? The tribute is sweet and is thoughtful and she probably appreciates it, as we do. But to be able to present you with a million quacha contract is something that you're not going to get in this life or the next. Sir, I'm sorry. Yes, with all due respect. I, I, you'll just say it in this life, in the next. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with all due respect. I know I can write songs. Maybe, uh, I'm sorry, maybe due to lack of confidence, I messed that up, but I'm, I'm sorry, but it's not okay for you to tell me that I cannot sing in this flight or the next. I know I can write songs. I write songs. Maybe I chose the wrong song for, for this moment. Maybe due to fear, I messed this up. What are you afraid of? Yeah? What are you afraid of? Please don't say it this. What are, you afraid? what are you scared of? It's just that I, four years ago, I went to this audition, the Nexus audition. And, um, the the did they tell you the same thing? No, we're not going to advertise them for free. I, um, TK, he just gave me like uh, three seconds in and I was like cut off. So that? That was three years you ago? Know why you were cut that off? That was like four years ago. You know, he didn't tell me. So that, like, I know why you were cut off. me like I was young and I just uh, feel hang like, on, I feel hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. So, I know I can write songs, I swear. Mm -hmm. I know I have what it takes to be an artist. Like, I know I'll be an artist somewhere. You know, if, if this does, competition doesn't make me, or if that last competition didn't make me, but I know I'm going to be 
and the rest in Zambia. Good. This one up. Christian, I like that you're ambitious. I like right. that you'll see this. So this short term, I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. This, this short term me. I, I, what you just say to me, sir, this, like, those words could mess up someone. Mm -hmm. He cut me off four seconds in. He didn't tell me why. I understand. Christmas, let's, let's cut a long story short, okay? Yes. We have a job to do as much as you have a job to do, correct? Yeah. Our job is to tell you the truth and hopefully make you better or make you follow a different path, all right? Okay. As much as I sympathize with the fact that what we do say may be harsh, the truth is you're better off not wasting more of your life, okay? Here's what you need to understand, Crispin. Life is not kind. Life is not a Nigerian movie. This industry is neither of those two things. If you are going to survive in the music industry, you have to be able to understand and accept very harsh criticism. And in your case, it is not criticism. It is the absolute God found the truth. You are not a rapper. You will never be a rapper. Probably you could write songs, but you're not the front man. So if you believe this is going to take you another four years so you can go back and come and audition for something else, you're basically wasting your time. In four years, you're going to be 26. When you're 26, it becomes too late for you to have to start practicing a new career. So take it from us. Yeah, Whether you believe it or not, yes, this is not the thing that you should be doing. It is okay to be a writer and write for other people. But if you're going to spend the rest of your life believing in a dream that is a myth, then Crispin, I'm afraid you're going to be a loser. So you get a no from me. Get it. No from me. No. Thank you, Crispin. Thank you. Okay, you have listened to that audition uh, of Crispin who uh, was rapping a song dedicated to his late auntie Jackie and the judges um, Balad Zulu was the first judge to stop him uh, from continuing to do his uh, dedication to his uh, auntie and then David Kazadi stepped in and he made some comments which are quite disturbing and hurtful um, bearing in mind that uh, Zambians um, we don't like to be told the truth, i.e., for example, if somebody tells you you're not talented, you don't want to hear that. But then it's the way in which the message was communicated. I believe, and most of you guys have also believed that it was not very, very good. You see, on this page, we always say that life is spiritual and um, everything that happens in the physical starts with the spiritual first. So what somebody utters, the words that somebody can utter against your life, and you know, telling you like what Kazadi has said, that not even in the next life will you make it um, in the music industry. Uh, you and I, David Kazadi, we know that we are not God. And we have no power whatsoever to change anyone's destiny. We have seen rappers from America, from Nigeria, uh, from South Africa who are popular today because they simply just did a beat and they are viral. Uh, we are in a new era of uh, technology and social media where somebody can go viral for simply doing even just silly things. Uh, so we cannot predict anyone's future. Yes, you may not agree with the man's talent, Crispin's talent, but it's in the way in which you communicate that is very important. You know, um, let's criticize the young people with love and this is what i do on this platform i always criticize people with love i i pray for people and i share my concerns about even celebrities without you know wishing them evil and saying you know they will not succeed and everything like that words are really really powerful especially when we're dealing with uh, a demonic world where the spiritual aspect can be um more like corrupted because this person um, is probably not even a strong believer. Okay, um, one thing that you should also realize, David Kazadi, is that for me, who's in the United Kingdom, and also you have lived in the United Kingdom, uh, we know the privileges that people have in the UK, i.e. free education, which is why you have a very good accent, you speak good English, and you've been to college as well. It comes with you being um, probably born here and having permanent residency. And for me, who has children as well in the United Kingdom, I've seen how they've benefited from the system here in the United Kingdom. But in Zambia, it's different, you know, and that's why every time there's an opportunity uh, in the UK or any country, I always try to bring it out to my Zambian people because I want to see many Zambians succeed. Um, 
a few years ago I started talking about opportunities coming to the UK and over 1,000 Zambians have come through my mentorship uh, through me telling them about this opportunity and even the Ministry of Health um, the minister herself uh, Madam Silva Masebo she even recognized the fact that I was um, importing labor into the United Kingdom and it's something that we can encourage the young people uh, Kazadi our young people uh, some of them, they come from broken homes. Uh, they come from homes of, you know, low-income families. Uh, I, we can call that poverty, but we, in the, 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 the most evil way to say it is low-income families, where music is their only hope. You know, and coming to your auditions is not because they are stupid or foolish, but it's because they have a hope. And in as much as, as a judge, you're not supposed to raise their hopes, but at least be kind to them so that they shouldn't lose that hope which they have. We are in a digital world where the young people are very influential. And just to, for two days now, the Kazadi is trending for people saying, look, you're being rude. We want you off the show uh, as compared to even kids who uh, was told to leave the show. But most people are even saying Kazadi must leave the show, even though it's his show. Why? Because we are Africans, Kazadi. We don't believe in uh, somebody being rude and nasty to us. We believe in the Ubuntu, and the Ubuntu is hold your brother, hug him, kiss him, whilst telling him the truth, but without hurting him. You know, and those words are, can be really harmful. Uh, in, in fact, they are very harmful, and that's why most Zambians have reacted. And also, as well, when you look at this... Um, icons uh, program it's a very very good concept very good idea and it, it's already blowing up on the internet the, the zambian space your show um kazadi is their only hope you know zambia is so tough you just see zambia from you know you've come from the uk you are now you know doing your show you're doing films and then you audition people people come zambians no, they can look so well bathed, no matter how nice they are looking. Most of them don't come from very comfortable homes. They just know how to look after themselves. And therefore, them coming to your show, it's like they forget where they are coming from. They forget the poverty that they've experienced. They forget some of them have even experienced abuse. You know, they forget all that that they've experienced. And then they come to your show, they meet people, they mingle, they've collected numbers. It's also part of networking. Some, even from your show, they've even connected themselves on Facebook, on Instagram. Very soon you see that they formed a group, you see. So we have to be careful the words we say. And Zambia um, has a high rate of mental health presently, you may not be aware and Zambia has a high rate of mental health. You may not be aware, but that's the reality of Zambia. And many young people, they are, you know, trying to analyze themselves and, um, you know, telling them that you will never be this in life just triggers that, you know. So please, we don't want anything to happen to any of the contestants or, you know, uh, we don't want to hear that so, so, so person did this because Kazadi said this words can hurt a lot and that's why guys i want to also encourage you many people told me a lot of things in this life you've seen even social media media people say a lot of things but one thing about me is that i don't stop and i continue focusing on what i want my goals i am an achiever i'm a go-getter and i don't allow anybody to tell me anything guys you are now in a social media era I'm also encouraging you to use Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube to put your content out there. Whatever you're believing yourself in, it is possible. But if you're waiting for an audition, for someone to go and humiliate you, to disgrace you, you understand? Um, your life will still be on the same place. Try by all means to push. Guys, in 2019, on this very page, I would have only 11 likes. Today, when I post a picture, even a dot, I will not get not less than a thousand likes. I will get reactions. I will get reach of more than a million. 
Why? Because I believed in myself that I had a voice on this platform. I believed in myself, even on YouTube, that I had a voice. That's why I have 121,000 subscribers. Even though I took a break on YouTube, I still have people who came to Facebook to follow me. Please use social media to push yourselves. Don't let anybody say negative things about you. So, Crispin, uh, we are rooting for you. And please, and please, and please, don't take those words uh, to heart. Um, forgive Kasati. Move on. Let's move on. And also just pray for the Spirit of God to take over your life. And may God open doors for you. I believe that a door will be open for you. The song is powerful. And we don't know why Crispin was dedicating that song to his auntie. From the little he has shared, he said, look, my auntie believed in me. You know, Zambia is so tough that when you have an auntie who is even believing in your talent, it means maybe this aunt was even paying for his school fees and when she died, all his hopes are lost. Most Zambian youths can't even go to college. There's no money. Most Zambian youths don't even have job opportunities. The only thing they are doing now is betting. And that's why when even Pompey had talked about betting, Zambians were saying, you don't know our suffering. You've been to private schools. And I obviously I'm against betting because I'm a Christian. But you know, the complaints of the Zambian people were that there's no job, there's no opportunity. So now they are coming to audition in the hopes that, ah, at least maybe a uh, boss Kazadi will like me. And then Kazadi also says anything. Don't let the devil use you to be the one to put all hopes of the young people down. One. Two, don't be the one that everybody will be castigating to say it's because of you that this person did this. Don't. Just play your smart cards. Your, your, your show has already gone viral now. Now we should change the game. We have Wesley was an amazing uh, vocalist. We have Ruth Ronnie, who's a very good personality as well. You've got a combination of great people. It's time for us to focus on the positive of the show. And that's to discover talent without harming people with words. Simon Cow tried to be rude in the beginning of his show. A lot of people were castigating him in newspapers in the United Kingdom. And he changed the way he speaks. Guys, let's be careful. People have even come on Facebook to swear about me. You will never be MP. You will never be this. You will never be this. And I told myself, you are not God. I'm not a member of parliament, but I've made sure that my Zambian people, when there's an opportunity in Canada, go to this page. There's an opportunity in America, go to this page. There's an opportunity in New Zealand, go to this page. I don't need to wait for when I will be elected as member of parliament one day for me to work. You understand? I'm already doing what I would do even more before I even become a member of parliament. I'm already doing it because I already see it in the spirit that I will be a member of parliament. So even you, Crispin, if you see yourself as a star, don't wait for the show. Just like all of you. Don't wait for any show. Go and do your thing. Many artists now, they are stars. b Flow was rejected by his cell program, Search. Many of the guys who are stars today, they were rejected. But today, they are stars. Today, they are shining. Today, they are doing their thing. Many people who are even winners of these shows, where are they? We don't even know where they are. Whether it's in UK, it's in US, even in the US, Jennifer Hudson, Fantasia, these are people who are rejected. But today, there are even more stars than the ones who won. Where are the winners? When you know what you carry, please don't give up. When you know what you possess, don't allow any human being to write you off. We have no power whatsoever. The Bible tells us that there is life and death in the power of the tongue. You speak to yourself, I will be a multi-millionaire. I will drive a, a, an expensive car. I would say this to myself, I will buy a house in this country, the UK, I have it. I will buy myself a Range Rover, I have it. I will, why? Because when you speak, the universe receives your words. Words are powerful. 
That's why no matter what, if somebody says, you will never be this, just say back to sender. You understand? I have children that people have mocked on social media. They have said all sorts of things. They, they, they had never seen them. The day I just shared Eileen, her videos are trending now. Wow, you have beautiful children. You know why the devil was attacking me over my children? Because the devil knows the destiny the children carry. The devil is not going to use a, 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 a angel of darkness to come and... No! He will use the very people on social media to... Hey, look, she has children. Listen, just Eileen alone. Everybody wants to see Eileen again. I've not yet even showed you Donnell. I've not even showed you Ellery. I've not even showed you uh, Ellen. Their characters, wonderful children, beautiful. Did I allow any fool to talk negative about my children and I'll be seated at what? I made sure they went to the best schools. I made sure I moved to a very good area. I made sure I worked hard. I made sure that none of my children will be homeless tomorrow because I have sorted their future. Because many people are waiting to see your children suffer. Many people are waiting to see you suffer. And that's why you have to be prayerful. Always be in a place of prayer. And understand that life is spiritual. That's why you have to be prayerful all the time. Don't allow anybody to be there as a giant saying, without me, you will never be anything. No. Somebody would even say, without me, because of me. That's why that person is not going to be a member of parliament. Who are you? Who are you? As long as I have breath, as long as I have life, I know that I will be a member of parliament one day. Not because of anyone's words. Guys, it's a girl in my terms. Remember that don't let negative words enter your head and you give up. Don't give up. I am a story. I am that woman that people mocked. I am that woman that people said she will never be in the, I'm that testimony. I am one person who never gives up all around and I will never allow anybody. You just know an inch of me. If I tell you what I've done in Zambia, you'll be shocked that I can even achieve all these things. I'm that person that people thought, ah, she will never amount to anything. I didn't give up. Today, I'm a multi-millionaire. Don't give up. God is real. Hold on to this God. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I love you guys. You're special and you're reckless. Remember, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end.